What's up gamers? Hey once again thanks for tuning in to the Game and Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we finally have Trinity for the PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.69 and 3.70. Now this is the jailbreak, the hack, the exploit, call it however you want. These news are amazing. Just came out from the flow today. So happy Cinco de Mayo everyone. So now of course we will need QCMA installed in our computer and also we will need PSV image tools easy front end from Mr. Gindini so I'm gonna leave those links in the description but the flow released a video showcasing Trinity exploit for the PlayStation Vita I will go ahead and leave that link in the description as well for you guys to see it now if you enjoy his work please consider making a donation so we go to the flow's github okay so this is trinity is a third public jailbreak for the playstation vita which supports the latest firmware 3.69 and 3.70 also the donation information is right there via bitcoin paypal or patreon and he gives thanks of course he's one of the greatest developers now the device needs to be on 3.69 or 3.70 if you're on a lower firmware please use handcore instead now if you have a fat model PlayStation Vita, then you will need a Sony memory card. So make sure you have one. The PlayStation Vita Slim does not need one because it already has some. Your device must be able to access the PlayStation Store. Now if you saw the preparation video, which is my previous video, then we can skip all the way until the installation. Make sure you have a PSP game or mini or a demo installed in your PlayStation Vita from the PlayStation Network Store. So once we have that, if you follow the previous video, if you haven't, I'll leave the link in the description. So for the installation, we will need QCMA and PSV image tools. But in this case, we will use Mr. Gindini's PSV image tools. So we will go ahead and get QCMA. As you guys have it, the Windows installers, it's very simple to install QCMA. Now there's a lot of steps that the flow left us. So big shout out to Mr. Gindini because he simplified everything with just four steps so I'm gonna leave his link to follow him on Twitter he's done a great job with this new update of the PSV image tools easy front end 1.85 as you guys can see the changelog added Trinity exploit by the flow so step one we will select the game then step two we select Trinity Step three, we wait. Step four, it'll give us a prompt saying that the game has been installed with Trinity. Now we just need to back up the game and also launch content manager from the PlayStation Vita and copy it to the PlayStation Vita. So we will get the PSV image tool CC front end and we will install. As you guys can see, I installed the .msi. So just click next and we just wait for the installation shouldn't take that long okay so now we have our new tool updated PSV image tool CC front end 1.8.5 so we move on to the PlayStation Vita now within the PlayStation Vita this is a PlayStation Vita on 3.70 I had local Rocco so I'm going to delete it so that you guys can see how I got it if many of you have been following me you guys already know that this is a demo so we go to the PS store this is exciting guys this is amazing the flow gave us this present on May 5th okay so now we go to the search and you guys can search by the game I'll go ahead and leave the list of games as well so I will search in this case demo And I will scroll down until I find Loco Roco. There's also Pet Saddle Club demo, but in this case, I'll be using Loco Roco Midnight Carnival. So we just let it download for a few minutes. Okay, so the installation of Loco Roco has been completed, which is awesome. Now, Loco Roco is in the US store. Now we will launch the game to make sure this game is workable. So 
I know the flow had tweeted back then in order to have a workable game we hold the PS button and then we go to settings we just make sure we get this prompt which is the bilinear and all these additional settings as long as we get that we're fine so we close that out so we just check the game is good to go now we will launch content manager from the PlayStation Vita make sure it is running on your PC okay so now we will go ahead and copy content now we will go from the PlayStation Vita system to the PC we go to applications PSP other and we're going to copy the local Roku game to our PC and then we select OK awesome guys we have our game backed up to the PC pretty simple okay so now we go to our PC and within the PC we will search for the game so we go to documents PS Vita P game we select our profile and we select our game we're going to right click and copy and then we're going to just create a folder anywhere I'm going to put it on the desktop I'm just going to call it PS Vita 3.70 game backup okay I'm going to access that folder and I'm going to paste simple as that guys we're all done with backing up our game just in case anything happens so just make sure you refresh QCMA's database and then we're going to run PSV image tools easy front end we're going to register our PlayStation Vita so we click on the floppy disk now you can name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it Trinity 3.70 and then simple as just clicking on the magnifying glass twice and then we add account thank you mr. Gindini this is awesome super simple now we select a profile within the folder and the key and we select Trinity 3.70 okay now PSV image tools easy front end recognize that our PlayStation Vita has been accessed so now we select exploits and we select our game and then Trinity which is wait and exploit Trinity insert it into the game successfully now we refresh QCMA once more technically it does it automatically but I just like to refresh it just in case we move on to the PlayStation Vita now within the PlayStation Vita we're going to copy content okay we're gonna go from the PC to the PlayStation Vita system we select PSP other and we get our new local Roco game with Trinity and we just give it a moment so you guys can see Trinity the logo it's like a door or just going forward which is cool we launched the game and look at this guys the detail of the matrix I don't know Trinity exploit by the flow this is awesome super exciting big shout out to the flow Mr. Gindini this is amazing now we will go ahead and select install Hankaku now I left this in the video because my system crashed so if we select download Vita shell it tries to download Vita shell but it crashed the system no worries we have another option to install Vita shell also with Mr. Gindini's PSV image tools easy front end I have a video I'll go ahead and leave it in the description so you guys can install Vita shell and molecular shell also I think it's Crunchyroll you can install it but we'll go ahead and I don't know if Crunchyroll will work for 3.70 but you have the option to install Vita shell and molecular shell to install VPKs uh, adrenaline any other VPK application but I left this in the video for you guys to see if you guys come across this problem do not worry about it we just turn on the PlayStation Vita 
since we have the game already installed with Trinity, there is no problem. I am just going to show you guys that this PlayStation Vita is um, firmware 3.70, okay? I know that the ones that have been following me know that this PlayStation Vita is on 3.70. So we run the game again. And there you have it guys, Trinity, exploit by the flow, it's still working, which is awesome. So now the workaround will be to just install Henkaku. Okay, and then we just exit. Awesome. Now we will launch settings. Within settings, you guys can see Henkaku settings. Now we're going to enable unsafe homebrew. And for the spoofed version, we will select 3.70. Okay, so now with Mr. Gindini's tool, we're going to install Beta Shell and Molecular Shell. So we go to Apps. You guys can see Beta Shell. Then we select, and there's molecular shell. So I'm going to select OK. And then I select apps again. And I'm going to select beta shell. There we have it, guys. The two main applications. Technically, we just need beta shell. But I just like to keep molecular shell as a backup. So we refresh QCMA's database. And we move on back to the PlayStation beta. Now within the PlayStation beta, we will launch content manager and remember guys I'll leave this link for this video to install Vita Shell in the description so you guys can get it as well so we go to the PC to the PlayStation Vita system applications PS Vita and then we're going to select Vita Shell and molecular shell just in case we select OK awesome that's all we need OK so now we have beta shell and molecular shell we launch beta shell to see if it works there we have it guys it even prompts us for the new update for beta shell we can install Adrenaline, Adrenaline Bubbles Manager, Auto Plugin, Package J, all the VPKs, PlayStation Vita games which are come in VPK format. But for that you can use Package J. Now this is amazing. You have Molecular Shell just in case. But you guys go ahead and get Trinity using Mr. Gandini's PSV image tools. How simple can it get? The flow. Thank you. Go donate to him, please. He's one of the greatest developers. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.